Hello everybody and welcome back to Dominion of Men and we have been busy indeed since the previous episode doing a lot of building, a lot of training and we do have a force now ready to assault the elves at the Elven King's Halls. This is a force comprising of largely royal longwomen. We've got I think eight units of them, four royal spearmen, two units of black shields, uh, a couple of Lossoth warriors which are my new acquisition from Ron Lasoth. We took that in between the previous episodes, just a small rebel settlement in the north out of which you can train these guys who have, uh, they're effective against armor. Uh, they have a combat bonus in the snow. So I think they will prove to be useful in this battle. And of course we do have a couple of the stars of the show, the Citadel catapults. And we moved them basically from our, uh, our possessions right around here is where we did most of the training. Uh, and Laurent Lasoth, and we moved them north of the Misty Mountains here, down through the pass, uh, past Framsburg. We don't have any uh, problem with Dale at the moment, and we just got them inside Elven territory, uh, and so we're staying there. Now, I have a decision to make at this point. I could assault this army right now, or I could wait for it to come to me, and I think I would prefer to do the latter. Partly that's because if we wait until winter, these guys will have that combat bonus in the snow. The other reason is that if this is a very heavily forested map, we will have uh, a problem with the catapults being kind of stuck. You won't be able to move them. That doesn't matter if the enemy's coming at us. So I think that's what I'm likely to try. We'll hit end turn. We'll see what the elves do. They're probably going to attack us. Uh, if not, if they move to the Elven King's Halls, great. We'll put it under siege and starve them out if they won't fight. So that's the plan for over there. Now, we did make some changes to our empire in the south, I guess, along this border. You can see this territory now belongs to the dwarves. Now, we're not at war or allied with them, but we figured they would make a pretty good neighbor and custodian of this stretch of our border. That's because, if you remember, we were having a bit of uh, trouble uh, with, with uh, Tharbad getting up towards Rivendell uh, in previous episodes. And, uh, of, of course, we eventually took these two settlements for ourselves, but this part of the map is not really strong. And the problem is, although Tharbad is the only province that borders the, uh, the crossing at Swanfleet, it's really close to Rohan's territory. And they've had some armies that are just sitting here eyeballing Swanfleet, just waiting to get across. So I thought it would be good to get rid of this territory so that we don't have Rohan jump in because I just don't want to fortify all of this. I'll fortify Tharbad, right? But I figured the dwarves are going to be a nice passive neighbor, and then Rohan can't slip through. Now, I thought that, and then I see this. We see this Yorling host, who has apparently waited this entire time for this territory to come over to the dwarves, so they can then trespass and move over to Dwaradelf. What are you doing, guys? Are you going to attack Moria uh, with your largely cavalry army? Uh, that would be great, actually. I'd love to see, uh, love to see that happen. Uh, but I don't know what's going to what's gonna come of this. Hopefully they won't turn north towards Rivendell. They are at war with us. They're not at war with the dwarves yet, at any rate. Uh, but we have done a lot of training and a lot of building, and so here we are, ready for this. Now, the other thing, I may have made a mistake over here. I'm not feeling too good about this. Because over here, we do have a couple of armies, slightly different composition, uh, lighter on the longbows, but they do have some mariners. Uh, Mariners and a bit more Cav in both of these hosts. They have a couple of black shields. Uh, this army has a couple of uh, Dunabar macemen, so good against armor. Um, what I could do theoretically is assault Mithlond right now. I've got the siege equipment to do it, uh, but that's a disaster just looking at what they have here. Uh, because the siege weapons are really important uh, part of my strategy. So if I can't bring them in through the gates because they're too huge, then they're just sitting outside uselessly while all of these super elite units like the Lindon Guards with their 57 defense or the Naldor Swords with their 63 defense and 3 hit points are sitting up on the uh, the town plaza at the top of the hill while I am kind of unable to do anything about it. So I'm thinking instead I'll just hang out here. Uh, do I want to put it under siege though? Well, there's no need because, you know, w what would be the point? I've got the siege equipment. If I want to assault, I can just assault. Uh, but I won't put it under siege because maybe these guys will leave. I don't know. Maybe uh, we'll see. We'll just leave these armies here for now. I'll see what the AI does. We have siege weapons. We'll hope to inflict some damage. Let's end the season.
All right, we are indeed attacked outside of Mithlond, and this is by, yes, the new ruler. So Thranduil has apparently uh, gone off into the west, and he is succeeded by Dogion. This is not an elvish name that I'm familiar with, but Dogion of Mithlond is the new ruler, and of course he is leading this unit of elven retainers, and he has another unit of elven retainers backing him up, five units of Lindon guards, two of the elven riders. Uh, these are sword and shield cavalry, so a little less threatening than, say, Glorfindel's unit, uh, but still very strong. And they do have two units of bows. Uh, I, I don't think I have as many archers as I would like. I probably... Uh, I, I, I may have too many spearmen. I think I got three spears. Well, we'll see. Let's see how this goes. We do have some maces here, so theoretically we can do some damage that way, but I'm going to hope that my siege weapons... Uh, can batter them enough. The problem is, I guess, when the enemy is attacking, they're not going to stand there and let the siege weapons hit them. All right. Uh, well, we definitely want fire at will and flaming ammo for these things, and we do need to move the ballistas up. Uh, this is something that I trained just because I I could. I think out of Bucklebury, it had the. Uh, the building's necessary. I couldn't get catapults yet, but I figured, let's give these guys a shot. And where do we want to set up? I mean, there's not really great ground over here. I guess if we go right about here, we get a bit of a height uh, advantage. Yeah, this is probably, probably going to be good. Or the best we can do, anyway. Okay, let's see our line. All right, we've got a dude of our macemen. I think I want them uh, in shield wall right off the bat. All right, and so that's our that's our battle line. We're gonna set them up right about there, and we do have longbows, so we're gonna put them well, probably behind. We also have Lossoth Warriors. Now, I'm not sure how these guys are going to perform either. Probably leave them on Skirmish, though. Um, Alright, let's let's uh, let's do it. Okay, so they're quite a ways away. Oh, they're going to outflank us. Well, I want to keep the hill. But I wonder if the trees are going to get in the way of our uh, catapults. Okay, I think they're turning now. But we're getting very close, and I don't want to lose any shots, so let's just uh, have them halt there. Longbows are already firing. That's nice. Lind on guards. Okay, so there's 41 in a unit of these guys. A very, very strong unit, of course. They don't have shields, but... Okay, they are taking some losses from the bows. That's uh, that's a little better than I thought. I think we need, like, a lot of longbows. I think we need, like, ten. Alright, what are we hitting, if anything? Awesome, Lindon guards took a catapult thingy to the face, so that's nice. We're going to take some friendly fire, though, here, I expect. Oh, the Elven Riders. Um, okay, let's throw in... Wow, they're so fast. There's the Elven Retainers. Uh, yeah, evenly matched. Well, for now, anyway. Yeah, they just, they're so fast. Alright, let's see how they do. We're going to have them attack 
the Elven Retainers. Now, we can withdraw our troops, like our generals, like our Lasoth warriors. Um, let's see how they do here. Don't have that many javelins, though. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Maybe these are not a great unit. Oh, uh, they look really cool. They're fashionable for hoods. They look great. All right, well, they did basically nothing here. Um, let's throw one unit in just to see how they do. This is kind of a test battle, okay? I don't know if their thrusting spears count as armor piercing. Uh, kind of looks like no. So that's a shame. Okay, well, also it's not winter time. They're really good in the winter. Yeah, the other retainers are winning easily. Yeah, this is, again, this is the king. And so we're just not going to do much against them. We do have some longbowmen still. Let's get them around over here. Catapults can't do anything anymore. Yeah, they've done nothing to those linden guards. Okay, so to salvage one unit, I'm going to withdraw these guys immediately. You guys go back to your homes. Well, not to your homes. Go back to the Shire or something. What is this? Longbowmen. Okay, basically running some Lindon guards. That's fine. All right, uh, yeah, withdraw. Everybody can withdraw. You guys would be nice to withdraw. We've got the money to retrain these guys and, uh, you know, get, get more catapult units. So we're just going to abandon this. Um, if I just escape from here, I wonder how bad that would be. Mace men losing heavily. That armor piercing is not doing that much against these using it. So this is a different type of elven army. One of the cool things about the elven faction uh, in the fourth age is that it's not the same everywhere across the realm. There's very different units because there's different elven populations as you would expect. This is somewhat of a concession to the fact that you know the there are faction limits on uh, on the original Rome and so you couldn't have like three different elven factions to represent like Lorien and Thranduil and uh, you know the Grey Havens. So we all had to we had to have them all as a sort of a single faction. But we made it so that the uh, the units that you recruited out of each of those regions was at least very different. Uh, so in the west, around Mithlon and the Grey Havens, there's a little more Naldor influence. You've got these very heavily armored uh, melee monsters in the Lindon Guards. You've also got Mariners. Uh, so we're going to be fighting a lot tougher guys in, in stand-up fights. So I'm not sure what the best solution is, other than just battering them to death with catapults, which may be what we do. So, um, yeah, probably a lot more training to come. Let's just, uh, let's, let's go ahead and concede at this point. Uh, I don't know how many we're going to lose. More than we would have lost uh, before. Not really sure. Mariners did some decent losses there, probably with their javelins. The catapults only killed 14. That's uh, really disappointing. But again, we really want to use them on an offensive battle so that the AI is is going to stand there, right? Where they have the, the high ground, let's say, but you can bring your catapults close enough to uh, to batter them without without getting hit back. All right, so that was bad. This is also bad. I'm going to withdraw from this. Okay, we're, we're going to get hit again. Uh, okay. I have to fight this one. All right. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so this is different. This is a mostly Mariner's stack. Uh, but this army is also different. No, my army here. So what do we have? I think Black Shields this time, but no Mace Men. Probably the Black Shields are better, though. I think they have a higher defense. Uh, do we want... Yeah, we'll, we'll keep them on uh, Seek and Destroy. So not... Uh, not Guard Mode, in other words. 
We don't have a very nice hill there, but it is it is a hill at least. Okay, we want to go something like that, I guess. Uh, the ballista is not sure what to do with because we can't really shoot over our guys. Maybe we can just kind of have them here embedded in the unit. Just sort of stack them on top. I don't know if this is going to be at all good. At least get a few shots in. We'll put the catapults uh, right back here behind the black shields. Seems to be, I would say, probably the safest bet. All the other units are fine as they are. And we'll get our cavalry all kind of together. And here again. Oh, here we have five longbowmen. All right, that's good. So let's see. Something like that, I guess. Yeah, so they're coming from... Uh, okay, so the other reinforcing army is actually way over here. Oh, I don't think they can show up. Yeah, so they're way over there. But to actually join the battle, there's this bay that sort of cuts across, as you can see down on the mini-map here. So I don't think they can actually join the fight. It's a, a bit of a glitch, but I'll take it. All right, so this time, I don't know if there's any Lind on guard. Uh, no, there is. There's one unit. One unit of Lind on guard, but the rest are these mariners. So these are swordsmen. Um, oh, that was good. Uh, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna wait. Uh, could I, I can't, can't aim at the, at the general yet. That was also good. Very good. Keep it up, guys. One unit of Elven Riders. We out-archer them. At least in terms of numbers of our archers. That was good. If they stay back a little bit. Which they probably won't. Alright, Mariners are charging in. Um, Let's go Cav versus Cav, I guess, here. Oh yeah, okay, that's what they want too. <laughs> Alright, everybody just just go in there. Threshold troops outflanking on the downhill side. That's fine. Alright, we're just going to be shooting at those elven bows. How are we doing here? Elven riders are losing heavily, but the threshold troops are coming in, and that means we need to get out. Uh, they're just a tier 1 unit, but again... Very, very strong for all of that. So let's bring the longbows in to kind of pin. Oh, and what's going on with the cav here? They're just um, getting into our back. All right, I think we can. I think we can take this unit out. Yeah, that was a good charge. Alright, great. They're gone. Get you all out. So we've got to use our cav, we've got to use our bows in melee as well. I don't know though, those elven retainers, there's just... so many of them. Threshold troops are losing heavily, so maybe I will not worry about them for right now. Maybe instead we'll try to take out the Elven Retainers. Uh, that might be the best use of our time. Let's uh, hit them with the longbows while they seem to be marching away from melee. Which is odd, but I'll take it. Twenty. Okay, that's probably hurting us more than it's hurting them. Alright, so aim at the Elven Bows and... Get formed up, we'll do kind of a charge here. Okay, they're losing slightly now. We're winded and they are... Oh, let's see, can we hit them? Yeah, you know what? This is this is kind of crazy, but let's hit them with our, with our own catapults. Because I know we're going to hurt our own guys, but if we can take out the general, and like a lot of them... Oh, I don't think we can do it now. 
They just came in a bit too close. All right, 24. Uh, well, let's charge. 23. 20, 19. Losing heavily. 18, 17. Okay, we might be onto something here. Let's, um... Alright, winning easily. 15. Are we still charging? No. Pull the general out. These guys are all still charging, so keep using your charge bonus. You guys are in melee, and, uh... Okay, you're the only one in melee, so you can come out. 8, losing heavily. Oh man, the Lindon guards are coming in. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so longbows. Uh yeah, I guess we're just we're just trying to hit everything. Kill this general. Alright, we're in melee, in melee, and marching, so get back out. We're gonna try that again. They're down to just two. If we kill the general, ugh, the rest of our lines look really bad. Down to one. All right. This is it. I mean, we can't withdraw from here. So we've got to... Uh, we've got to take out the enemy general and then hope we can roll up the rest of the army here, but I'm not sure. All right, let's throw in here to the mariners and... Um, all right, guys, that was not working out. Let's get out of there again. Catapults are in melee with uh, with some mariners. All of our units are engaged. We just need one charge just to wipe this guy out. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Try again. Yeah, our forces are looking bad. Mariners, I think we could take. I mean, if we charge these guys, I think we would have some success. Let's do that, actually. 29 units, they're tired. This looks like a good charge. Losing heavily. Yeah, so the Mariners are a really tough unit, of course, but a massed cav charge can do some damage to them. Alright, he's marching again, so time to get out again. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, so this is, this is going to be bad, but... Oh, here come the threshold troops. Riders of a Riador are still in here. Okay, get get the get the riders out. Oh, where's he even going? All right, uh, who do we hit? You know who I'd love to kill is these Lindon guards, but, um... Yeah, why not? 38 of them. I'll just keep cav charging the general. Oh, that did it! Whoa-ho-ho! All right. Linden guards are tough there. They're not going to uh They're not gonna just roll over, so I still think we're losing this battle. But that was at least satisfying. Uh kill the enemy general. So that unit for sure is not coming back, uh even if we do win. I mean even if we do lose, which uh which we almost certainly will. Alright, get back up here on the top of the hill. Yeah, we're the only <laughs> The only units we have left are these calves, so... I'll just 
throw them all in here. Uh, and that'll be the end. So, alright. At least we know it's possible to beat them now. And the thing that I'm hoping is that the other settlements... That's actually a routing unit, so that's nice to see. The other settlements like Forlindon and Harlindon, so those other settlements in the area on the coast, uh, those, I think, are not really recruit possible settlements for the elves. They're certainly not when the elves are controlled by the human. Because the population is so low, you just... You can't do anything with it. You need to either convert the population to manage to get some training out of it, or just accept that this is an elven settlement that you can get like one unit out of. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we're just going to speed this up and call it a day. Slim defeat, yeah. Uh, okay, but we did uh, take out a couple hundred of them uh, out of this unit here for, uh, above of Keminor the Hunter. And those are 200 elves that I think they will have a hard time replacing. So we know the Mariners are beatable. We are not quite sure what the secret weapon is going to be against the Lindon Guards. Um, bows do scratch them, so that's nice. All right, do we want to fight this battle now? I think we probably will want to save this for another episode. I do have a better feeling about this one, though, folks. This one is a, uh, a battle where we have a lot more archers, and I think that's our mistake in the West. We went with melee because we were facing melee. But I think we want to go with Longbowmen because these guys can stand up to a lot of punishment and can the Black Shields. So I think this fight is going to go a bit better. Campaign in the East may be wrapping up soon and we can devote all of our attention to Mithlon. So thank you for joining me in this episode, folks. I hope you'll stick around for the next one. Until then, take care, everybody.